Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Daddy Way Show. I have had one boring day today. Nothing seems to be going on that I, I see interesting. But I did what I could. All right? What's going on in the world today? Snoop Dogg went to Sweden and got arrested. He got pulled over for the spokesman of the Sweden police said that as they as they the police saw Snoop driving, they believed that the driver was under the influence of narcotics. Snoop? Under the influence? No. Anyway, they believed he was, so they pulled him over and arrested him. And they made him peanut cup, go figure. <laughs> My question is though. What was he doing that they didn't apparently put in the newspaper article or whatnot? What was he doing that led the police to believe that he was under the influence of narcotics? Was he swerving? Was he driving super fast? Was there smoke coming out of the car? Did he stick his head out the uh, window and say, hey, I'm intoxicated? They don't say anything. All they said is the police pulled him over believing that he was driving under the influence with nothing else said. Snoop go is going around saying they they profiled him, and now he is so upset. He made three, I think, videos about it. You guys can check that out. Uh, three videos about it, I believe, and he's pretty much saying he's profiled. He will never go back there. So Sweden, you will never get Snoop Dogg in your country again. Blame your police. <laughs> what else is going on in the world? Well, this one's an interesting, a little weird, but this is gonna, have, um, you know. This is going to be interesting to you Twitter fans. There was a chick in Florida, a lady in Florida, who was so desperate to get her fix that she put on Twitter that she... Here, let me quote it for you. Somebody bring me weed. I will pay for it. She got 500 retweets for that. One of these 500 retweets was the Palm City County Sheriff's Office, who retweeted her and said where can we meet of course the lady wasn't stupid and sure enough she didn't meet with them and later on she put on the tweet and twitter that she sure enough had to drive to somebody to get her fix well at least she wasn't stupid enough to meet the off uh, the police officers but one thing i thought was interesting apparently that county uh, sheriff's office have used that tweet a lot and they have gotten, I think, a grand total of 60,000 people replying to that, where can we meet? So it makes you wonder. I wonder how many potheads those sheriffs are actually apprehending. <laughs> Maybe 6,000. What else is going on in the world? Oh, yeah. For all, my, for all the video gamers out there, EA Sports has now announced that they will start uh, t drug testing at the professional level. So if you're a gamer who wants to be a really high competitive gamer, please stay sober because now they're drug testing you. There was a guy who won a competition in uh, some other country and a few weeks later or a few days later he ended up telling everybody that he used, what is it called? It is called Adderall, a drug called Adderall that is given to people with ADHD and it helps them focus. But apparently this video gamer used it to help him in the competition. And now EA Sports is batting all that. They're saying that's cheating. You have to be sober. You have to be normal. Nothing in your system. And that's what they want. Sober competitors. So it's like a real thing. It's like we're major leaguing people. Say sober. With that said, you know, I think it's not a bad idea. But as far as I know, I think a lot of gamers are... Do drugs. I really do. Not hard drugs, but still. But who cares, right? We shouldn't. We shouldn't support that kind of thing. If anything, we should encourage what EA's doing and ask people that, yes, to stay sober. You don't have to do drugs to be the best. And if you can't win without cheating, you shouldn't win. My opinion. What is yours? I would like to know. Oh, my God. What a boring day, though. Oh, another thing. I had a person ask me today, what is my show about? It's about it, and I replied, it's not about anything. This is a show 
and it's more of a relationship between the spectator and the entertainer. You guys give me ideas, and I will do my best to entertain you with them. All right? But we're not gonna do anything stupid. We're not gonna sell out. Hold on, I'm a little thirsty. So yeah, we're not gonna sell out. We're not gonna be sponsored by any big corporation or anything like that. This is a just nice little honest, humble little show to entertain the masses, y'all. So what else is going on? Oh, I heard an interesting little joke today. What is the difference between a snowman and a snowwoman? Snowballs. Go figure, right? <laughs> Oh, and in local news, this is for all my Marylanders. Listen to this story, people. A Frederick County, Maryland man was arrested over the weekend for leaving his infant son in the car for over 20 minutes. This guy turned off the car in a hot day. You guys know how hot it is in Maryland all weekend. It was nice, though, but it's still hot. Would you leave your son or daughter in a car? Your infant son or daughter in a car with the thing cracked? That's what he did. He turned off the car, lowered the windows a little, and left. By the time he's come back, the cops are taking, and the ambulance is taking his son out to the hospital so he can recover because they thought that was the best course of action. And the gentleman was arrested, released this Sunday on bond. Uh, he has no lawyer on, on record. As of yet, as of now, I mean, and the working phone number that the courts have for him it doesn't work. The news, pay, the news, try to contact him, with no luck. I hope he doesn't uh, skip court. What else is going on? Well, that pretty much about it today, folks. Not a lot of things. A few shout outs. RTN Swiper and and. I also want to give a shout out, and this is more important, to all my Northwestern High School friends. Thank you for the support, guys. Go Wildcats. And before I leave, I just want to recommend this to you guys. There is a gentleman I know by the name of Godfather Boston who is making his own little video game website uh, channel. You guys should go check it out. It's pretty cool. I saw it. It teach you a thing or two. The, his, uh, his channel is called Jordan Hall. And you're looking for Godfather Boston. Three videos he has. They're pretty cool. Go visit them. You know, you might like it. And with that said, I think that's everything for today. So thank you for coming to the channel, people. Thank you for the likes and visit. I'm enjoying all the comments. Let's keep it going. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.